Did you know that at level 30, you'll be able to craft and equip 4 new types of weapons? These weapons will fit into the heavy weapon slot and this will allow you to easily switch between your main weapon and your heavy weapon during combat. They will also grant you new skills and passives which will change up the way that you play. Although you can only select one type of expertise at a time, you'll be able to easily switch between them without any cost to you should you change your mind. So, let's have a closer look at the 4 different areas of expertise and their weapons. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe so I can feed my cat. Thank you! Your explosives expert is your AoE bomber type. It's good for cleaning up a bunch of ads, and the damage is similar with the biotic gun. However, it can hit numerous enemies at once, and therefore it's ideal to lure your monsters into one area and clean them up quickly with your grenade launcher. This expertise can add additional damage to any of the throwable items such as your lure bomb, hand grenade, or molotov. The daily mission called Hold the Line or any other modes where enemies attack in hordes is where this weapon is good to have. It looks like a very fun class and it reminds me a lot of this. Let's have a look at the explosive expert. Splatter. When you hit with your main weapon, you have a 30% chance of dealing splash damage based on skill strength. The cooldown is 10 seconds. Burning Harvest Your grenade launcher has a 30% chance of firing incendiary grenades that burn an area for 5 seconds. Tactical Bombardment When a drone deals a critical hit, it causes additional splash damage. Pitching Arm Increases the damage of your throwables. Resilient Increases your max armor and reduces one instance of splash damage every 20 seconds. Explosions are considered as splash damage. Radiation Reload It fills your main weapon's magazine when you hit two or more enemies with splash damage. Shrapnel It increases the grenade launcher's armor piercing. Enhanced Durability When an enemy is killed by splash damage, the current drone's endurance is increased. Throwable Intensity When you hit with the throwable explosive, your damage is increased for 8 seconds. Splash Reload When you kill an enemy with splash damage, your grenade launcher regains 1 grenade. Damage Deflection When you deal splash damage, your current armor is replenished. Explosive Charge When you deal splash damage, your skill strength is increased for 10 seconds. The name suggests they are the support role of the team. They heal teammates using a biotic rifle, a gun that shoots rounds in a beam, and whoever that beam passes will be healed by it. They also make use of the healing device and the healing drone for extra heals and damage buffs for the party. There is also a passive skill that is not from the expertise tree but it is located in your passive skills where you can revive teammates faster the more points you invest in that skill. I think it's a great passive for support type players to have. Your support expert can be the difference between passing a hard dungeon or failing a hard dungeon. Granted, you're doing it the legit way and not bugging it. Bombastic side eye. Criminal offensive side eye. So show your support some love, they really deserve it. Quantum Laminate. Hitting an enemy with your main weapon grants increased armor for 1 second. Adrenaline Teammates in the healing device's area of effect gain increased damage strength. Affects a maximum of 4 teammates including yourself. Battle Assist Increases your drone max HP and flight time. Long-acting healing Improves the healing device's 
healing effect and reduces its cooldown time. Temporary Shield Increases skill strength for 15 seconds when armor reaches zero. Logistics Ammo Replenishes main weapon's ammo when using a tactical skill to heal either yourself or a teammate. Emergency Treatment Instantaneously heals any friendly unit, including yourself, within range with less than 55% HP. Aerial Reinforcements Boosts the healing capacity of the healing drone, which will also be able to save teammates on the edge of death. Recoil Offset Amplifies damage and reduces firearm recoil from your main weapon by 5%. Wound Heal Conversion Hitting an enemy with a biotic rifle heals the teammate with the lowest percentage of HP for 5 seconds. The cooldown is 20 seconds. Quick Repair Increases max armor and armor recovers more quickly. Circulatory System Enhances damage when a biotic rifle is used. Biotic rifle ammo that doesn't result in a hit may be returned to the magazine. Assault Expert This is your pinpoint single DPS. great for taking down bosses or elite mobs. The more you keep hitting a target, the more your buffs will stack, resulting in huge damage output. It's great if you have the luxury to stand in one place and just go ham on a single target. However, granted you're going to be doing some of the most damage in your team, it's very likely that the boss will end up aggroing on you, in which case it would make standing still not very ideal. Also take into consideration that while wielding this heavy machine gun, your character will be unable to dash, dodge, and jump, and will move slightly slower. From the way this expertise is built, I would suggest stacking crit damage as a priority to get the most out of it. Fully loaded. Handheld heavy machine gun's armor piercing increases over time upon hitting enemies continuously while firing while standing still. Crack shot. When you hit the same enemy multiple times in a row with your main weapon, your critical rate is increased for 2 seconds. This stacks up to 3 times. Active armor. When you land a critical hit, your armor replenishes for 3 seconds. HE ammo. Increases drone critical damage chance. Firearms proficiency. Increases the critical damage of your main weapon. Automatic Supply You regain ammo when you kill an enemy with a heavy machine gun. Deep Wounds When a drone deals a critical hit, it causes the enemy to bleed for 3 seconds. Lucky Strike When you score a critical hit with your main weapon, your magazine automatically refills. Heavy Machine Gun Increases Heavy Machine Gun Critical Hit Rate Extended Magazine For 6 seconds, after killing an enemy with your main weapon, reloading will increase magazine capacity. Skillful Combatant When you score a critical hit, your skill strength is increased for 10 seconds. Determined When your armor reaches zero, it increases for 10 seconds. Sniper Expert It is a good damage dealer overall and has good mobility. But I say overall because yes, Sniper has the highest base damage of all the weapons, but you have to consider as well the delay of chambering around in between shots, i.e. their rate of fire is the slowest of all weapons, 
and if you happen to miss that one shot, well, we all know how bad that feels. In the hands of a true gamer, the heavy sniper is not something to mess around with, especially in PvP, because snipers have one of the highest range in the game, and you essentially pick off your opponents with one perfectly timed bullet. Snipers have two modes, armor piercing or high explosive rounds, so that they have some versatility to switch between single target or dealing slightly lower damage to multiple targets, aka splash damage. The sniper makes use of its turret for additional automatic fire. This expertise has a much slower and more calculated playstyle, but there is something just so satisfying to watch enemies fall from one bullet. Precision Strike Increases the main weapon's weakness damage Ranged Snipe Receive a damage bonus when a heavy sniper hits an enemy at a range of over 20 meters Advanced Targeting Additional armor reduced effect when enemy is hit by drone Lasts for 5 seconds with a 15 second cooldown Prep Upgrade If your main weapon deals a critical hit there is a 40% chance that the cooldown time of device tactical skills will be reduced. Battle Mania 15% chance of recovering one bullet when a heavy sniper scores a kill, and any damage overflow from the kill is added onto the next shot. Lasts for up to 20 seconds and is lost upon switching weapons. Ammo Recycler If your main weapon deals a critical hit, you will get back ammo into your magazine. Sniper Turret The auto turret fires one sure fire sniper bullet every 3 seconds. Energy Pit Stop Defeating an enemy extends the current drone's endurance. Defense Removal If your main weapon deals a critical hit, your armor piercing abilities will be increased for 5 seconds. This effect can be stacked up to 5 times. Survival Instinct Reduces energy drain for 10 seconds when you take damage. Offense-Defense Conversion If your main weapon deals a critical hit, you will regain armor every second for 5 seconds. Fatal Pursuit Receive a damage bonus for 20 seconds when a heavy sniper scores consecutive hits onto a target. Just a simple overview of the four different weapons. I've included here a comparison of their stats, which you can look and compare for yourself. I hope this video has helped you in deciding which expertise you might want to play as when the game launches. That's all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification so you'll know when the next video is up. Bye!